Hey everyone, hope you guys enjoy coming along with me to create these two custom couple pieces. So both of these pieces are custom ordered on specific records, so I'm going to leave one side playable, it's going to be the reverse side of the design, so that's why I go through and I make sure that my record player is nice and clean to assure that the back will stay clean and able to be played. So the first record I have here, it's a Francis and the Lights album, it is for a first dance uh, wedding gift, and the song they are dancing to is Can I Have This Dance? So I'm starting off with a background color. I like to kind of layer on maybe two or three coats of a color so that it's really nice and easy to design on. And this is the second piece I'm working on today. It is the album Mac Miller Swimming. And this is actually a colored record. So it kind of is a nice um, start color, a nice base color. Uh, especially because I'm going to do a swimming kind of underwater theme for this piece. So I'm going to add in some little wave details. And you'll see me switch back and forth between pieces. I like working on two at once because while one is drying, I can actually work on the other. So this is back to the first piece, kind of adding on details to that background. I definitely went back and forth. I wanted to get this ombre kind of midnight sky look. So yeah, I did a little adjustments to that, I ended up just going in with my finger, just smudging everything, trying to make everything look really balanced. This is usually the technique I use for any kind of uh, waves or clouds, and that's what I ended up actually really liking about this piece, is that you can't tell if there are waves or clouds until I add some of like the sea detail creatures and stuff. But yeah, I'll also throw in some excerpts from the actual order, so you guys know where I'm getting these details from. When in doubt, paint with your fingers, honestly. So these are some images that I print off of my I design and print off of my computer and I just kind of paste them on I do layer the piece with two other coatings so this is just a really light layer basically just to place a piece where I think it should go it can always be changed And yeah, this one I'm pasting right now, it was the quote that she gave me to put on the piece. I love this image of this couple. I think it is so fun. I think, I don't personally know them, but I feel like it says a lot about their personality. And I just love how happy it is. When I wake up in the middle of the night And I feel wide awake cause I've got you on my mind I go walking out in the streets with the stars above me Cause I can't go back to sleep I add stars and glitter to almost all of my pieces I would say at this point And then I'm just gonna write in their name and anniversary wedding date And I know this is not the best way to write things. I'm using a pencil that I coat with paint. So if you guys have any recommendations or really good paint pens, I haven't been able to find one that I like. And yeah, always finish off with a little glitter and sparkle. It always just makes the piece shine and pulls it together so nicely. This way, but I got you on my mind, so everything's okay. Hey. And as we go back to the Mac Miller piece here, I'm gonna include their image. It's always a good idea to start, I think, including the images. Um, if you're unsure of what details to add next, which definitely happens to me. So yeah, I try to just 
do what I know and kind of just let the piece flow. Walking in the night with the moon and the stars, they make me feel all right. I actually ended up taking out that sign that's on the right of my lettering right now. So I just thought it was like too much white. Um, so I ended up adding in a little green sign that you guys will see at the end. And this is the finished piece, so you can see that sign. The quote, I had in a little lobster. And this is the wedding finished piece. I love how this came out. And I was so happy to work on both of these pieces. So now I'm just gonna go out and do a little layer of spray coating. I also did a layer of Mod Podge glue, which I didn't film, but that's just a way to hold everything in its place and really make a lasting coverage on it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to learn more about my custom pieces or how to order one, you can look at all of my work on my website, which is carlysvinyls.com. You can fill out a custom order form, and, or you could just scroll through all of the pieces of art that I've created for people. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!